brought to you by Almond Auctions, the worldwide leader in antique tractor auctions. It's no surprise to find tractors working wide open spaces, but how often do you find a classic farm tractor in a suburban backyard? Newark, Delaware is now home for this vintage farm wall with plenty of power, but not a whole lot of room to roam. Well, the neighbors, they, they, some of them's got mobile homes, some of them's got antique cars, some has got plenty of big boats. <laughs> so we, we generally get along great, you know, there's no, nobody says anything. Vic Murray is a farm all man, and even though Vic's been off the farm for years, his love for the red power he worked with as a boy has never stopped. Used to work on a farm, and that's what we had, internationals, you know, M's and H's and so forth, and just got a liking them. So when I retired, then we started working on this to restore it. The Super MTA that has become the apple of Vic's eye is a rare one manufactured for just one year in 1954. Although Vic's fond of farm alls, his wife Regina prefers tractors that aren't quite as red. I like driving this one better because you don't have to use the clutch. Even so, Regina happily went along with Vic when they found this bright red beauty waiting on a farm just two hours away. We were looking for a Super M and we advertised in a Lancaster farm paper and Mr. Eberly, he called us, he had this Farmall Super MTA. So we took a ride to Chambersburg, Pennsylvania and took a look at it. And we decided we'd buy it. He used it for plowing, disking, hauling manure, hay, baling, and like, stuff, raking and stuff like that. Yeah. Killing his fields, you know, till the ground. Vic didn't waste a moment getting the Super MTA to its new home in the suburbs. And he got the restoration process started the very same day. And he documented his hard work with plenty of pictures. She was in pretty bad shape when we got it, but the sheet metal was good. And of course we put everything we thought it needed. For more than six months, Vic worked on the mechanical restoration. And in 1995, a professional painter added the finishing touches to give the tractor its showroom shine. On the rear end of this tractor, we had to get new tars all the way around, and we thought we'd get to tars that originally came with the tractor. And uh, as far as we know, that they came to the factory with far spin. This fancy farm all was the first tractor with shift on the go, and it was also the first farm all to feature an independent PTO. Maybe best of all was the torque amplifier, the ad said a pull on the TA lever would instantly boost power by 45%. On this side over here, this uh, Super MTA, when they made them, they made a torque amplifier. It's just like a, another clutch and another gear. Uh, putting it in, you didn't have to push your pedal in your clutch pedal and stop and change gears. On the move, you could just pull this torque back and you keep right on going in your plowing or in you getting a hard pull. My fa favorite feature would be that torque, you know, because I like how it works. Just that one pull and you're gone, you know. The hard work Vic put into the restoration of this Farmall Classic has not gone unappreciated. After we finished restoring the tractor, we um, sent some pictures of the completed work up to Mr. Reuben Eberly. Chambersburg so he could see what the tractor looked like after it was restored. He was so happy to get the pictures that he wrote us this real nice letter and in it he said that he enjoyed seeing the tractor restored and that he was very proud of the work we had done on it. And of course it made us happy to get a letter from him. He was a proud, proud as can be, like a peacock. Vic is proud too, and why not? he's restored a classic piece of farming heritage to its original beauty, leaving a bright red legacy that his family will enjoy for years to come. I got a grandson, and he's uh, two and a half years old, and he, he loves tractors. And uh, I told him, I said, that'll be yours someday. 